Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome to the one year anniversary show for the channel. A surprise gala event that you're all invited to, but wanted to take a second to do a one year anniversary uh, retrospective. I don't know what we're going to call this video, but it's a celebration. You're going to have some giveaways here. We're going to have uh, some nice messages from a few people. We'll have a few special guests. We're also going to do a couple of weekly purchases that came through just late under the radar. Uh, so a lot of excitement here in this video. But I wanted to take a second to thank all you guys for watching the channel, being a part of the channel, subscribing to the channel, commenting on the channel, uh, as this wouldn't be possible without you guys. I've said it before, I had no plans to do a YouTube channel. And then about a year, a little over a year ago, I did a collector's tour video of my collection uh, just to show people and all that kind of stuff. It snowballed into a channel with a lot of pushing and prodding from our old friend David C. Anderson. Uh, he said, you can do it, you can do it, do a channel. And a lot of great comments out there saying, hey, you should do a channel, do more content. And it snowballed from there. And here we are uh, at the one year mark with 6,000 and growing subscribers every day. So I thank each and every one of you guys for watching my videos. We've come a heck of a long way from that first Snake Eyes uh, Deluxe unboxing to where we are now. Some people say we've not come far enough, but I think we've come pretty far from that first video if you go back and check that one out. A lot of cool things. Like I said, 6,000 subscribers never would have been interested or thought that even 600 people would be interested in what I have to say. But I think, uh, once again, all you guys that have stuck with me and watched along. And I got to thank my boy Lemmy. Lemmy the Corgi Poo, my old friend, our first guest today. Lemmy's been a part of every video, whether or not you know it or not, as he has been by my feet usually for every single video. I think he's been a part of every single one. A little camera shy today, apparently. But uh, we got to thank my boy Lemmy. He'll be the first thank you in person uh, on this video as he does a great job just uh, guarding my feet and guarding the floor from any figures that decide to want to come to life and maybe do something. He's watching out for that. But a lot of good stuff on the channel over the last year. A lot of figure hunts, of course, figure hunts. Uh, weekly purchases, of course. Unboxings. Toy room tours. You name it. A lot on the channel. And uh, it's been really fun. I never thought, like I said, I would have a YouTube channel going strong over a year. But we're going to keep going. We'll see how long we can go for and see what's new. As long as you guys are interested, we'll keep kicking out some content. So today, we wanted to talk. I wanted to do thank yous. Like I said, David C. Anderson, thanks for the push making me do this channel here and uh, encouragement along the way. My boy Lemmy, of course. And then we can't forget Ringside Collectibles. Uh, use discount code KYLE. Save 10% can't believe it. I uh, never thought I'd have a discount code, but here we are. So we got that. And then we also have the Big Bad Toy Store affiliate link. I always say it link in the description below, as well as my family. Thank you, my family, for being a part of the video. You've seen my daughters. You've seen my wife in some of these videos. My dogs, of course. Uh, a lot of good people around me. It takes a village, somebody once said. Um, was that Hillary Clinton? I don't know, but somebody said it one time, and it's true. You know, we need help out there. We need people around and people to support and people to encourage, and I want to thank all those people that do that. Also, I shouldn't forget, belowthecollar.com, you can get your very own See You Later t-shirt. That supports the channel the most. Uh, you know, belowthecollar.com, affiliated with Pro Wrestling Tees is another subset of their websites. Uh, belowthecollar.com, you can be the most stylish guy or gal uh, in your toy store out there. So pick up a t-shirt while you're there. So I had to get my cheap plugs in. You guys know how it goes. But want to thank everybody at the top of the channel, uh, top of the show right here. We're going to have a few special guests. We're going to have a few giveaways. You want to stay tuned to find out how you can win those giveaways uh, in this video here. And then we got a couple of weekly purchases, a couple of surprise weekly purchases for this bonus one year anniversary edition episode. So once again, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoy, enjoy the one year anniversary special. What's up? It's the most professional wrestler, Brian Myers, and the host of the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. And I want to give a quick congratulations to Kyle Peterson on one year of his YouTube channel. You know what, Kyle? I'll tell you this. I have a beautiful wife. Two lovely daughters that I love more than life itself. A kick-ass wrestling collection. I'm basically on the verge of becoming the Impact Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion. And even I, the man that has everything, is a little bit jealous of your collection. Congratulations. All right, we can't have a year anniversary spectacular without a giveaway. And what's better than one giveaway? I know, two giveaways. And so I needed two assistants. My two personal Vanna Whites. Emma and Elle, my daughters, you guys know them by now. But today, we're doing two giveaways. Emma, who are we giving away first? 
British Bulldog. The British Bulldog. Very good, Emma. The Mattel British Bulldog, the fairly new elite. If you guys don't have this yet, bam, there it is. You need it. And then, L, who do you got for the giveaway? Storm and Thunderbird. Storm and Thunderbird. Remember back to that crazy 4th of July of 2020 when this sold on eBay for over $700. Absolutely ridiculous. I'm not exactly sure who would have ever paid that. Uh, maybe it was Emma. I don't know. But we're giving both of these away, and you're probably asking yourself, well, how do I win these? Well, it's easy. Let's follow the rules here. Very simple rules. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm sure you're already subscribed, but if by chance you're not, make sure you hit the old subscribe button, turn the notification bell on, all that fun stuff all those YouTubers say. Make sure you got that done. That's half the battle. Like G.I. Joe, it's knowing is half the battle. That's half. The other half, follow me on social media, very easy here, at SirPaul64 on Twitter, at the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram. Follow me on one, follow me on both, whatever you guys want to do. And then in the comments of this video, drop your Twitter and Instagram handle and you will be entered to win one of these two prizes. Uh, if you want, uh, you'll be all ready. That's all you got to do. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram or Instagram, either or, whatever you want to do. Leave a comment in this video with your Twitter or Instagram handle, and we will draw a name, and it will be the winner will be announced in next week's weekly purchases video. So very simple, easy chance to win Storm and Thunderbird and the British Bulldog. My gift to you for following along for the last year. So make sure you follow the rules, make sure you enter. And that's it. We're going to give these bad boys away. Thanks, Emma and Al. Bye. Boys and girls, I am Smart Mark Sterling. I have three bachelors, two masters, and an MBA. And I'm the smartest professional wrestler in the world today. And I'm also the most famous professional wrestling lawyer. And I'm also the producer of the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast. I'm here in my car on this freezing day, 316, at very early in the morning, 830 in the morning, and I'm ready to go out and hunt for some figs. I got my hunting hat. I'm ready to go. And I learned this from Kyle Peterson, one of the greatest fig hunters of all time, the Larry Bird of wrestling figure collecting. He's the Larry Bird. It's pretty crazy. And you know what else is crazy? One year of Kyle's YouTube. Congratulations on that. I really commend the work and the effort you put into making sure that there's an unboxing on that channel uh, pretty much every day. It's crazy. Uh, the work that you put in and the things that you do for your collection. I love watching the longer videos. I love watching the unboxing videos. Uh, you're doing a great job. Please keep it up. That channel deserves zillions of views. So cheers to the future here on this 316 day. Now that's an intro video here, but here we go. Here's another thing I thought it would be a perfect time to talk about on our one-year anniversary show. Last around the Christmas time and weekly purchases, I said there's been a lot of crazy activity going on around the channel, and who knows, you might see me elsewhere one of these days. Well, as of right now, you're not going to see me elsewhere, but I thought now would be the perfect time to spill the beans is what I was kind of hinting at for a few weeks there, as I had multiple TV producer TV casting agency interviews as actually four different ones, uh, but one specifically, and that was uh, HGTV. They actually reached out to me, so they were a big fan of the channel and my personality in my videos, which I thought was a joke and maybe some kind of like fishing thing, but it was actually serious. I actually had uh, two interviews with the casting agency and then the producers of House Hunters. I'm sure you guys have heard of House Hunters. I can't say I've ever seen an episode of House Hunters. I don't watch a lot of HGTV, but I did uh, meet with the producers and have an on-camera interview under this COVID times uh, with them for HGTV. So they were very interested in me being an expert on a new TV show. Uh, and th that new TV show is called Everything But The House, which actually just premiered last week. It's, I think, Friday nights on HGTV. Uh, I did not get the role uh, for whatever reason. I don't know. You, you never know. That's Hollywood, I assume. I've never been involved in Hollywood, but... Uh, I didn't get it. They said oh, a lot of nice things, as I'm sure they had to. And then they said, hey, down the line, though, we may use you as an expert and we'll get a hold of you. So we'll see if that actually happens. I'm definitely not holding my breath. But I thought it was really cool that uh, TV companies like that would reach out. You never know what opportunity might be at your door. It was a really cool process. I could say, hey, I went through a casting agency and the producers and interviewed with all of them, talked about my figure collection, my passions, 
um, they got a better taste of my personality and all that kind of stuff. Um, so very, very interesting. But I know some people still message me, hey, what were you talking about? When are you going to spill the beans on that? And I figured now was the time. So yeah, watch everything but the house on HGTV and then just imagine that could have been Kyle uh, on that show. Um, giving his charm and his wit and wisdom and his action figure knowledge. I did watch the premiere episode. I'm not sure exactly if I would have fit into that episode. It was more about really weird antique stuff that I know absolutely nothing about. But you bring me some figures, I could talk figures. So we'll see. Maybe they got a different action figure guy, and we'll find out shortly who that is uh, if I decide to watch the show and if you watch the show. But thought it'd be a great opportunity in this one-year anniversary episode to tell you about that. So yeah, I did have a few TV interviews. And I've actually still have two, two other TV opportunities uh, still in the wings. So we'll see what becomes of that. So stay tuned. There may be more down the line, but uh, there you go. So let's continue the one-year anniversary special. Kyle Peterson, it's me. Always ready, Matt Cardona, the host of the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast, the internet champion, the Michael Jordan of wrestling figure collecting, and the thousand dollar broskin. I wanted to say congratulations on one year of your YouTube channel. You are scratching that figure itch like so many others, but you're doing it with style. And you got one of the best collections out there. You are an organizing machine. Keep it up, keep up the content, and best wishes, bro. All right, the one-year anniversary rolling strong, but it's not all fun and games. There's a little bit of sadness with uh, the one-year anniversary as we've come to the terms where I've been told by an old friend of the channel that they will no longer be appearing in some of the episodes. Uh, we've seen this person in quite a few different appearances over the... Uh-oh, what the heck? The lights are off. We know what that means. It's Chucky! Chucky back on the channel! Hey, Chucky! Hi! Hi. Well, it's all a little bit of sadness, like I was saying. Chucky, it's good to have you back on the channel at least one last time to say goodbye to all your friends, all your family, your other killers out there. You want to say anything to the, the uh, Hannibal Lecters or the John Wayne Gacy's of the world? Yep. Unfortunately, Chucky says she's getting a little bit too big for this outfit. Is that the case? Getting a little big? Getting a little tight? We've seen Chucky grow over the last year. Mayhem, misery, lots of killing on the channel. Lots of killing on her uh, Halloween time, of course. But uh, Chucky, is there anything you want to say to the people? What do you want to say? Chucky's not talking. But Chucky has informed me that this will be the last appearance of Chucky on the channel. I can hear you people uns unsubscribing right now, but we're hoping another killer maybe would come and take her place. Maybe an older killer, maybe a younger killer. I'm not sure. We'll figure something out. We need some kind of a killer on the channel. Uh, but Chucky, I want to thank you for helping make this channel what it is. Coming to visit me on a regular basis on the channel and, you know, all the murders you've uh, accumulated over the last year. So, Chucky, do you want to say a final goodbye to all your friends? Goodbye. Goodbye. I feel like this is a puppet of Chucky. I could just be doing a puppet. Yeah, there it is. Chucky, thank you for all the fun videos. You're going to be missed by uh, me, Kyle. So, there you go. Chucky, it was fun. Thanks for appearing on the one-year anniversary show. We'll see you down the road. Let's go out on a fig hunt with Kyle and the All these distribution problems got us feeling like we can't buy no toys. Between Mattel's new elites and turtle anxiety and roadblock warm in the bay. Going out on a free car, then serving targets. Howdy folks, it's that old outlaw Waylon Jennings, here to wish my good buddy Kyle Peterson a happy one year anniversary on YouTube. Kyle, keep up the good work pal, excited to see what figs we're going to find in the next year. Alright guys, at the beginning of this episode here of the one year anniversary of the channel, we talked a little bit about some of the videos we do on the channel. We do a ton of unboxings, be it Marvel Legends, be it Ninja Turtles, be it Star Wars. 
be it wrestling, be it even the odd McFarlane every once in a blue moon. We see hot garbage, we see some of the best garbage, we see a lot of different stuff on the channel in our unboxing videos, but we also do action figure hunts, which are usually the most popular. I think most people watching YouTube are looking for YouTube, YouTube action figure collectors to be out on the hunt and seeing what they're doing, so we do some of that as well. But my favorite video, and I gotta think some of your guys is out there, is weekly purchases, where we go through some of my purchases for the week, we talk some news, we give a shout out to that old outlaw Waylon Jennings, among other people, and that's weekly purchases. Our Saturday afternoon get together where we talk about what we picked up and stuff. And I figured you can't have a year anniversary special episode without a couple of weekly purchases thrown in. I know this is a debuting on a Sunday, the day after weekly purchases, but I said, let's save a couple. We'll save it for this, just for old time's sake, because we all love a good weekly purchase. But had to save some special weekly purchases for this video, and we got a big weekly purchase at the very end. So make sure you stay tuned to the very end of the video as we got a great weekly purchase. But I figured, let's just do some okay purchases. Just a couple of appetizers for the main, uh, the main course. Before we get to that big steak, we're gonna have a couple of cheese sticks. How about that? There it is, that's an appetizer for you. Maybe a little bit of a guacamole, I don't know. But let's do it. Let's show a couple of weekly purchases. And this week, I picked up just a couple of things out there. I got a little AEW Jazzwares. How about MJF? A little uh, Chase edition. One of 1,000 MJF. AEW, of course. Had to pick this one up. I said, you know what? Why not? Gotta get a deal. You know, that's one of the mantras of the channel. Gotta get a deal. Always be on the hunt for deals. And that's what I found. I found a deal. But I also found this one out there. I found this deal. This one of 500 John Moxley figure for AEW. Gotta get a deal once again. So I picked that up. Figured I'd save these for this special one year anniversary. But I also got another one out there. It's a one of 1000 Chase Edition. Chris Jericho had to get this one too. I said, you know what, why not? What's it hurt? Who? Everybody wants a Jericho. And I said, you know what, if I got these three, I should just complete it. Might, might as well just get this done. So that's what I did. I said, you know what? I need that one of 500 rare edition. Cody Rhodes, ready to be uh, on the Star Trek team. Cody Rhodes right there, one of 500. So as of right now, this is complete for the chases. Until Series 3, if they, those chases ever come, I'm not exactly sure uh, when the next chases will come. I know, I believe, what is it, Series 6, the chases are going to get a heck of a lot easier. So I said inside my brain, I always walk it through. I say, let's take a step back. Let's figure this out figured those chases will be fairly easy to get. I don't think we'll have as much of a problem. Even if you do have problems getting those, you'll be able to get them for at least a reasonable price on eBay. I'll be able to track those down. These ones that are harder to get, uh, they might go up in value. I'm sure they probably will go up in value with that being known. I said, now there's only a, a few series of really hard ones to get. I can track those down while the getting is good. It's easier to track these down right now than it will be maybe 10 years from now. That's how my mind works. So I'm going to try to complete this set. We'll see if we can do it. Uh, we'll get the next uh, one of 500, one of 1,000s. When those come out, I'll be on the hunt. I'll figure it out. I'll find it some way. Got to get a deal at the end of the day, no matter how I do it. But uh, here's just a couple of weekly purchases that we saved for the one-year special. Hey, Kyle. It's your old buddy, the commissioner of the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast, David C. Anderson. Just want to tell you congratulations on one year of the YouTube channel. To think just about a year ago, I kept hounding you and hounding you and hounding you. Hey, you really need to start a YouTube channel. Your collection needs to be documented. These unboxings, everything that you're doing on your own, you need to be sharing this with the world. This needs to be documented. You just didn't want to listen. Oh, who wants to watch this? Nobody cares. And here we are, one year and over 6,000 subscribers later, we're here. So congratulations, Kyle, for all your success. Here's to the first 6,000 subscribers, and here's to 6 million more. All right, we've got to the end of the one-year anniversary episode, but I saved the best for last. We know on this channel we've been working on completing many alliances over the last year. WCW OSFTM, uh, LJN Classic Superstars, uh, Loose Set. Also, the famous LJN said, if you guys go back to that story I had in the summer of 2020, as I needed to get my childhood LJN collection back, and I did that in about five, six weeks, whatever that was. But the one I've been working on the hardest that predates this channel, and also has been a big part of this channel, and you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Jack's Ruthless Aggression. 
Well, I needed one more figure. I've been on the search for it. It's a very, very hard to get figure. However, I went to a flea market in uh, the Midwest, we'll call it. Went to a flea market. How strange is this? I never go to flea markets. Most of the time I go to flea market, it's just all hot junk. There's never any good toys there. And this one was no exception. Tons of farm equipment, old clothes, just uh, old expired beef jerky, if you're into that kind of stuff. Uh, they had all that stuff. And they had a few toy tables here. But somehow, from across the room, my eye met with a figure. I could not believe what I was seeing. I about passed out. I got my phone out. I said, this can't be it. This can't be. This would not be sitting here, mint condition, just sitting on a table. Uh, but it was. I could not believe the, the case of figure fate I had here as I looked at the table and I grabbed the figure and I realized it was... Shawn Michaels, Ruthless Aggression, Jack's figure, the one I needed. Oh my gosh, we got a lot of balloons, and Emma joined us here. Jack's Ruthless Aggression, ring exclusive, Shawn Michaels. Well, and Elle's here too. There's a lot of people coming. There, it's such an exciting moment that uh, Elle and Emma had to come here, and even my hey! wife, Angie, <laughs> so excited here. about this Shawn Michaels figure. Now, you guys know this Shawn Michaels was from the ring pack. It came with a ring, usually around $200. How much did I get this for? Yeah, a dollar at the flea market. <laughs> Mint condition. Angie, deal of the century? Deal. I'm so thrilled. Uh, she's so thrilled, so <laughs> excited. We had a big pizza party that night when I brought this home. She was so excited and thrilled. The kids were thrilled. Emma, why don't you play us a celebratory kazoo? <laughs> There it is. We always play that kazoo when we finish a line. El, how, how excited were you about the Shawn Michaels? Because you were there. You saw it. You couldn't believe. I was shaking. I was just, I couldn't believe it. I was so excited to find this Shawn Michaels. I think we found you, uh, where did we find you there? Like a stress ball or something. She got like a squishy stress ball. Emma got two Star Wars coloring books and I got a dollar Shawn Michaels to complete my Ruthless Aggression collection amazing day an amazing turn of events at the flea market <laughs> angie you weren't there you nope. missed all the fun nothing for me nothing for her at the <laughs> flea market she didn't get anything she didn't ask for anything though to, you mm -hmm. know you didn't say you wanted anything know, she, didn't come. <laughs> she didn't come <laughs> but true. can you believe this after a year plus of searching the one figure i needed was there in a flea market figure fate to the fullest what a day what a completion. I don't know of anybody else in the world that has a complete Jax Ruthless Aggression collection. I could be the only one out there. Uh, it's not obviously <laughs> Min on Card. Nobody's got a thousand of those Min on Card, but Loose, man, I could be the only one. So history has been made today on this year anniversary video, and I'm happy my good daughter Elle and Emma and my wife Angie. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> <laughs> she smells a little but it's okay <laughs> just kidding but yeah we did it the one year is in the books here's to year number two i don't know if there's any top in this l will be uh how old will you be next year 11 how old will you be next year six mom will be 21 <laughs> next year it's gonna be great it'll be our best year ever what are you going to <laughs> i'm gonna be 100 that's what i'm thinking but there it is the year anniversary i hope you enjoyed this special i hope you're enjoying the channel here's to many more videos uh-oh uh-oh <laughs> and for l and emma and my wife angie i'm kyle i'll see you guys all real soon bye <laughs> Oh my gosh. She's done! <laughs> Sacrifice her! Why do I dress her like Chucky? Most of the time, Emma was like sitting up so you could barely even see me. Kyle Peterson, who is known in some circles as the Larry Bird of sports entertainment figurine collecting. Well, this is John Cena, aka John Cena, who is known in some circles as the John Stockton of fashion. The shorts get shorter all the time. I just wanted to say thank you so much. For Welcome your back to the channel. Emma here. And Al, and we're taking over the channel. <laughs> Follow me on either Twitter or Instagram. Emma. <laughs> Emma. Emma. Now we have to do it all the way over. Uh, <laughs> but it's full. I was trying to pull oh, keep it down. Keep <laughs> I was trying to do it like that. Oh. You really probably could have just kept going. I was trying to do it like that. Today's the day. It's the one year anniversary show.
for purchasing a t-shirt housing. Happy always love that housing.